Hey guys, it's Matt with Savvy Lands. I've got another property in Brewster County, Texas. It's 20 acres and sits just on the south side of Nine Point Mesa. We'll flash the pin here and show you where it is. 20 acre property, P property ID 19501, Terlingo, track, Terlingo Ranch track number 8392. So zoom you into the property here in West Texas. This property is in Big Bend Country and it is between Big Bend Ranch State Park and Big Bend National Park. So you've got Big Bend National Park to the east and southeast. You've got Big Bend Ranch State Park to the west and southwest. Let's so keep flying you down here. You're gonna see that Highway 118 is to the west of the property, and that's gonna be your main highway running through the area. To get to the property from the intersection of Highway 118 and Turlinger Ranch Road, here are your directions. I'm gonna go ahead and show you what Terlingo Ranch Road and Highway 118 intersection looks like. So here we are at the intersection of Highway 118 and Terlingo Ranch Road. There it is, you can see there's a bunch of mailboxes here, there's some storage units, and you'll see a big sign that says um, Terlingo Ranch right here as well. There's a big sign. So this is the exit you're going to take off Highway 118, and you're going to head straight to the east on Terlingua Ranch Road for 6.83 miles about on Terlingua Ranch Road. So that's the pink line on your screen. You're going to take that all the way to when you get to the intersection of Terlingua Ranch Road and no and Ringtail Road. So Ringtail Road is going to be right there on yellow and you're going to turn left onto Ringtail Road. That's going to take you to the north. You're going to follow that for about 2.14 miles until you get to Marfa Road where, where Ringtail Road dead ends. So Marfa Road is going to be the green line here. You're going to turn left onto Marfa Road which is going to be going to the west so back towards Highway 118 now and you're going to go for about 0.45 miles on Marfa Road until you get to Perdido Road. So Perdido Road is going to be in orange here, and the um, you only have to go for about a quarter mile on Perdido Road until you get to the property. So here's the outline of the property. There you go. Here's some pins for you showing you the corners. And now I'm going to turn off the directions from Highway 118. And I'm going to give you a quick sat, um, Google Earth view of all the directions here. So looking due north, you're going to see Nine Point Mesa straight to the north of the property right there. Turning to the northeast, got better mountain views. We've got photos on our website showing all the views and all the directions. So the green lines up here, I still got the, uh, the parks turned on, so that's going to be Big Bend National Park over there to the east. There's your view to the east. Now we're looking southeast. Now we're looking south, so as you can see there's tons of mountain views here. So now we're going to turn to the southwest, and the green lines up on the horizon are going to be Big Bend Ranch State Park. Now we're turning to the west. You can see this property is kind of tucked up in the foothills here of these mountains. You'll see those in the photos and the drone footage that we show you. Now we're looking northwest and back to the north. I'm going to quickly show you where this property is located in Brewster County. So it's in the southern part of Brewster County. Here is the Brewster County outline. And it's right there, so, so you can see a little bit better. So it's kind of southwestern quarter, corner. It's uh, down by Terlingua, Texas, just to the southwest of the property. Now I want to show you some drone footage of this property. All right, so we're going to start with our ground views here. We're just going to kind of fly around the property and give you a little view here. So this is looking to the west right now. And this is footage of the property. So this is 
not footage of a property nearby. This is actual footage of the property. So now we're going to be turning over to the northwest. So you've got some neighbors up there to the northwest. And then when you turn to the north, you're going to see the biggest mesa in the area, Nine Point Mesa right there. Some great views of Nine Point Mesa from this property. Turning to the northeast, you're going to see Nine Point Mesa tapering down and going into the foothills. When you turn east, you're going to see even more prop or even more mountains. Turning to the southeast, we're going to have even more mountains. Got some neighbors down there to the south. Turning to the south, you got some more mountains as well. Now we're going to go to the next video. So here is a view from the south east to southwest of the property. So the property, this road right here splits the property. You can see um, some cars over here on the right side of the screen. That's the northeast corner of this property. So it kind of runs down here and then jets over here. And there's actually two access roads. So this is Perdido Road. And then there's an unnamed road over here. If you can see this little circle over to the left, there's a road that comes off Marfa Road to the south. It's unnamed. It's it's included in the property owner association map, so it's dated access, or it's, I guess it's access on their plat maps. Um, and then it dead ends into the southwest corner of the property over here. You'll be able to see some of those, some photos of that a little later as well. All right, got one more video to show you here. Okay, so here is the access road I was talking about. So if you look down here over to the left where it's kind of the ground is white. This is going to be Marfa Road down here. And you can turn off Marfa Road onto this unnamed road. It just doesn't have a name, hasn't been named. You can follow it up all the way to the southwest corner of the property, which is right in this area here, kind of where there's there used to be a little circle here, a little turnaround place. Um, it's overgrown right now, but that's the southwest corner of the property. There's Perdido Road running up here where the car is parked. And some of these roads look a little, if they look a little eroded, um, the Property Owners Association actually does maintain the roads and that's what annual dues are for in Terlingua Ranch. And you can simply request a um, maintenance request on the property or on the road to, to the property so that the, um, the road crew comes through and makes it a little nicer for you. Alrighty, now I want to show you some photos of this property and also the website. Well, we'll do the website first. That'll work. So here's the property listing on our website from the home screen. Let me show you how to get there from the home screen. So savvylands.com, www.savvylands.com. Click on land for sale. Then you want to scroll down to when you see Brewster County, Texas. This is property ID 19501 and 20 acres. So it's down here, down here, down here, down here, down here. 19501, 20 acres, right there. Go ahead and click on that. Fly into the property listing. We're going to have a ton of information here, guys. Um, lots and lots and lots of information. As you can see right here, we also have another 20 acre property connecting this one. Combines to make 40 acre property. If you're interested in more land, oh, that's a good option for you. You can see the 40 acre listing by clicking right there. It'll pop you up into our 40 acre listing as well. And if you're interested in buying this property, you can simply check out online with a 499 deposit by clicking here. Um, we're currently asking 29999 for this property. So if you click here, you can see it brings you to a secure checkout. You can do debit, credit card, debit or credit card. And it's just a 499 deposit, which covers your document prep fee, which we'll get to later. See a pin on the property, click this red here, and it'll drop a pin on Google Maps for you in the approximate center of the property. So you can see right here is the road from the south. You can see that kind of turn about there or turn around there. And then Perdita Road over to the, uh, it runs through the east side of the property. Scrolling down, you get a lot of property information here 20 acres, property ID number, county property ID number 19501, legal description, and it is Terlingua Ranch. Track number 8392. You can see that the street name is Perdido Road. If you click on that, it'll drop a pin on Perdido Road where it goes through the property. 
Um, electric lines run about a mile and a half to the east. So they're not in the immediate proximity. Um, property taxes in 2021 were just $112.72. These have been paid in full. There are no back taxes. The title is free and clear. Uh, with a recent title policy from a, a local title company confirming this. There is a property owners association, Terlingo Ranch guys. It's called the Property Owners Association of Terlingo Ranch or Poetry for short. And the fees per year in 2022 were $193.41. So that, again, this is for maintaining the roads throughout the ranch. For all of the documents pertaining to Terlingua Ranch, the, the best way to do this, even though we've included a bunch of them down here, uh, one of the best ways to do this is to actually go to their website. It's poatri, P-O-A-T-R-I dot org, and click on their library. So now here you can download all their documents. So that's an easy way to see everything. But you're also able to... Um, download a bunch of them on our website here in reference documents. So for example, if you want to see a track map of this property, it's in the North Core Zones region. Just go ahead and click that here and it's going to pop up a PDF track map of that region. And we are going to be looking for track, track number 8392. Okay, so here is the track map. And 8392 is going to be up here at the top. There it is, kind of at the middle of the screen right there. So you can see on this track map that this road coming from the south, that's the unnamed road, is this dash line right here. So it kind of comes up to this property. And then Perdido Road runs through the, um, the east side of this property as well. Do a bunch of other or you can download a bunch of other um, documents here as well but i'm not going to take you to them there's no appointment necessary to visit this property visit it at your leisure whenever is convenient for you as long as it's still listed on our website for sale that means it's available and uh, you can go check it out to get there we've included gps coordinates to the center of the property here you can simply click on that it'll drop a pin on google maps um, it's it's all hyperlinked super easy and now let's see for example, if you want to get to the southeast corner, say, right where Perdido Road kind of cuts through the property, it's right there. So you can see it. If you want to turn on regular map to see it, you can see it here as well. So you can see Perdido Road kind of cuts through the property. Coming down a little bit more, we've got the driving directions to the property. So all these all these words that say here, they're underlined, they're hyperlinked, and these are going to give you pins on Google Maps to those intersections where you're going to turn. So super easy to get there, but if you do have any questions on how to get there, feel free to reach out to us. Our number and email is at the top of every website, every web page on our website. You can email us salessavvylands.com, or you can call or text message us at 832-626-2044. We've got a bunch of distances to the property from surrounding areas and uh, destinations. Purchasing this property, guys, right now we're asking $29,999 cash, or we're, we'll also, we're also happy to provide owner financing. Our financing information is right here. If you would like financing, please be sure to read this paragraph right here so that you know the fees included in finance in the finance price. Whether you want to buy for cash or seller financing, be sure to read all of this information here. You can reserve this property with a $4.99 deposit. And then it gets into some more information on how we close. Closing costs, guys, if you're going to close through us, the $4.99 is going to be your document preparation fee. That's going to include all the costs of preparing the documents, the legal documents to record, and the recording fees, and the mailing fees to the county. If you want to close through a title company, that is completely fine. But the prices that we show on our website do not include title closing costs. Um, but we're happy to assist you in this process. And if you want to close your title, we'll credit the 499 doc prep fee that you make by clicking right there, that yellow button right there. 
um, to the purchase price of the property because the title company is going to be handling preparing all the documents and doing all the recording fees. So we'll credit that to your purchase there. So if you want to check out securely again, you can just click this yellow clicking here button and it'll take you to a secure checkout where you can check out with a credit or debit card for just $4.99. If you need to make sure we're a reputable company, We've provided links to the reviews on our Facebook page and our Google business page, Facebook page. You can just click there and it'll bring you to the reviews on our Facebook page from previous customers, Google business page, click right there. And it'll bring you on the left side of the screen reviews from our previous customers as well. Be sure to always like and follow us on all of our social media outlets, guys. We've got them all hyperlinked right here. You can just click on all these and it's Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, TikTok, YouTube, LinkedIn, and Pinterest. And then you can also find our listings featured on all of these websites as well, which are hyperlinked in here also. Scrolling down, we get to a bunch of photos of the property. Tons and tons and tons of photos. You can go through all these. We got Google Earth views in all the directions. You got driving directions to surrounding cities and destinations. And then what we do, let me find, what we've done here is that this property is located in the North Core Zones region of Terlingua Ranch. So let me see if I can find a map here to show you all the different regions. Okay, so here are all the different regions in Terlingo Ranch. This is in North Core Zones. It's up here at the top, up in the north portion of it. Um, for a satellite view of this, we can go here and see where it is. Oh, actually, let's look at, well, that'll work. It's got the regions on it. Okay, so here are all the regions. So you can see North Core Zones here, the property locations kind of to the east of this little mountain right here. Then you've also got the other regions, Big Bend Valley, Agua Fria, uh, the ones you can see here, Cedar Springs, and then there's Highway 118 down here in Solitario to the west. So what we've done here at the bottom, the last photos, starting with views around Terlingua Ranch 1. Well, actually, Great Sunsets in Terlingua Ranch is taken very close to this property. It's taken a mile and a half to the east of this property. Um, so that's going to be a general view that you'll see to the south as the sun sets on the mountains. Okay, so all these views are on Terlingo Ranch. We have 31 of these photos, and they just pretty much take you through a tour of most of the ranch. There's photos in a lot of the different regions of the ranch here. So we want to give you a good idea of what it's like to uh, be in different parts of the ranch, because you can drive around on all the ranch roads throughout Terlingua Ranch. So these are a bunch of the views that you can see. For example, this is Henneg Mountain. Great view of that. Really unique landscape throughout this entire area, this entire ranch, and it really varies a lot. As you can see in these photos, it goes from these unique hill type things to uh, creek beds, to flat areas, to mountainous areas, to these valleys with really big cliffs on these mountains. So you can get a good idea of what it's like to be around Terlingua Ranch um, without actually being there. Alrighty. So again, guys, thanks for, thanks for watching this video. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out to us, email, sales at savvylands.com or you can call or text the number at the top of our website 832-626-2044 this is 20 acres in terlingua ranch in brewster county texas it's out in west texas near big bend ranch state park and big bend national park hope you enjoyed the video hope you like this property please feel free to reach out to us if you have any questions or if you want to purchase this property thanks a lot have a great day